Welcome to the Umbrella Chronicles, accessing file number 24981149RC. Biohazard. The outbreak occurred in the summer of 1998. It started in the American Midwestern town of Raccoon City and brought hell to Earth. The T-virus was developed as a biological weapon, proliferating amongst the unsuspecting public. It metamorphosed them into living death zombies. Umbrella's mission statement had always been preserving the health of the people. But beneath this bright statement lurked the shadow of Oswell E. Spencer's ambition. End of file concerning the outbreak incident in Raccoon City. The truth behind the rise and fall of Umbrella is something to which only a select few are privy. The beginning of the end started on the outskirts of Raccoon City in the Arklay Mountains. My name is Albert Wesker. I aspired to become a leading researcher at Umbrella Incorporated a pharmaceutical enterprise who covertly conducts bioorganic weapons, better known as B.O.W., for development. But at the research center situated in Raccoon City, I met a brilliant and talented researcher who made me decide to take a different path. William Birkin. In time, I shifted my position to STARS, a special forces unit of the Raccoon City Police Department. Umbrella for crisis management reasons of their illegal bioorganic weapons development had many of its people working in the police department. I became the leader of STARS and conducted all sorts of intelligence activities for Umbrella. As I continued to serve, I devised my own plans and waited for the right moment to execute them. Then, at last, opportunity knocked. 1998, July 24th. The freak murder incidents that had occurred in the forest near the mansion started it all. The mansion was Umbrella's secret B.O.W. laboratory, and it was clear that the in-development T-virus was the cause of the murder. Initially, Umbrella instructed me secretively to keep stars out of the case. But, with the heightened emotions of the citizens, Stars had no choice but to move in. That was when my next order was given. Dispatch Stars to the mansion. Dispose of them. Then report the situation to headquarters so that their combat with the B.O.W. could be used for data analysis, allowing Umbrella a comprehensive portrait of the B.O.W.'s combat abilities. From the two Stars teams, I first pitched in the Bravo team. As expected, the top elite of stars gave all they had and became useful sample data. Then following, I geared up the Alpha Team to search and rescue the lost Bravo Team. The members of the Alpha Team also proved their worth, and as expected, many died. There were five survivors from the initial 11 stars members. From the Alpha Team were Chris Redfield, Jill Valentine, and Barry Burton. And from the Bravo team were Rebecca Chambers and Enrico Marini. It was time to begin executing my plans. It was a stormy night when the leeches overwhelmed the Ecliptic Express. The Special Forces unit sent to investigate the area reported an emergency, but the announcement was suddenly cut off and followed only by silence. And to the STARS unit member, Rebecca Chambers. Umbrella has been at the center of my plans for a long time, but the train incident would prove to be the beginning of the end. Stars here. Is anybody there? 
stars here. Is anybody there? We put a hold on the whole arresting me thing. We have bigger things to worry about right now. The first general manager, Dr. James Marcus. Who on earth are those people? She's just a rookie, a member of STARS. Hmm, what about the male? I'm unfamiliar with Attention. him. Attention! Mm -hmm. This is Dr. Marcus. Please be silent as we reflect upon our company motto. Obedience breeds discipline. Discipline breeds unity. Unity breeds power. Power is life. <laughs> who are you? It was I who scattered the T-virus in the mansion. Needless to say, I contaminated the train to... What? Revenge. On Umbrella. ago, Dr. Marcus was murdered by Umbrella. You helped them, didn't you? <laughs> the plans to reuse the management training facility were scrapped by Marcus's unfortunate outburst. Not only that, but the incident appeared to spread the virus to the area surrounding the mansion, causing a biohazard outbreak. It is time to abandon the sinking ship that is Umbrella. The virus is out. We can't hide this anymore. It appears Umbrella is finished. We're just gonna walk away? Our research isn't complete. We can make a more powerful virus. Do what you like. The T-Virus is near completion and only needs test data. That is why STARS is in place. I will bring them into the mansion. Damn it! I better get rid of this place before there are any more complications. Hmm. Welcome, young one. So glad you have joined the party. You are the guests of honor. After all, it's your wake. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Dr. Marcus? No, you can't be. What's going on? <laughs> Ten years ago, Spencer had me assassinated. Research. <laughs> Wesker Birkin.
However, something wondrous happened. It took the T-Virus inside of my queen years to procreate my new life. I live. Now I will have my revenge on Umbrella, and the world will burn in an inferno of hate! <laughs> You'll pay for what you've done! We'll see which one of us is gonna die! <laughs> Where might you be going, comrade? My next mission. The reclamation of the management training facility was your mission. But now you're just going to walk away without taking responsibility for your failure. The T-Virus has escaped. I will detonate the facility and dispose of it. Comrade, don't forget who's in charge. You can't just do what you feel like. Maybe you need a little reminder. I guess he didn't like his lesson. <laughs> Fine. We have the Talos Retrieval to take care of anyway. Everything... for Umbrella. My pursuers left behind. I regrouped with the Star's Alpha Team. There was no time for delays. Umbrella's command structure was in motion and the real struggle was about to begin. I guess it's time to say goodbye. People are waiting for me. Officially, Lieutenant Billy Cohen is dead. Rebecca, thank you. The pair overcame impossible odds and made it out alive. Lucky, I suppose. Since the event, Billy Cohen has gone missing. While Rebecca is about to enter a new nightmare as she heads for the mansion. 
the mansion incident. That was the night I led the Star's Alpha team into the Arklay Mountains, and we touched down in the surrounding woods. We were to look into the disappearance of Bravo team. At least, that was the fate. The reality was quite a different story for the unsuspecting members of the Alpha team. After being attacked by a pack of monsters, only Chris and a few others, including myself, made it to the mansion. Everything was going according to plan. Soon, I would have the research data that I needed. <sighs> what is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. He's... No. What was that? I'll go and check it out. That gunfire. I'm counting on you to investigate, Chris. Chris? Take care. Yeah. In the midst of the whole affair, I could take Umbrella's ultimate bioorganic weapon, Tyrant, and join forces with an opposing corporation of Umbrella. To buy into that opposing corporation, I would need the actual combat data of the Tyrant. The surviving privileged members of STARS were just perfect bait. I decided to have one of them play the Judas and draw them to the Tyrant. That Judas was Barry. Barry was the strong truth and justice kind and cherished his family more than anything. His type is easy to manipulate. I simply took that most important thing away from him. My only miscalculation was the high potential of Chris and Jill. But with the family man Barry playing the Judas, the scheme went as planned. Then, the winds turned unexpectedly. I had to eliminate Enrico, who found out what was behind it all. Is that voice I used Barry Enrico's? to get to him. Yeah. You're alive! Stop! Are you with anybody, Jill? No, but why? <laughs> the stars are finished. Someone is a traitor. Umbrella set us up. <laughs> <laughs> Enrico! Traitor? Who? After I successfully got rid of that nuisance, I awaited the sample specimen that Barry would bring to me in the tyrant's room. I injected the virus I obtained from Birkin in advance. If I made Umbrella believe I was dead, it made it far more convenient to sell myself to the opposing corporation. According to Birkin, the virus had profound effects. It would put my body in a state of temporary death. It would then bring me back to life with superhuman powers. Therefore, I unleashed an awesome tyrant from its slumber and let it attack me. As my consciousness faded away, I was certain that the whole scheme would end in success. I died once. I will never forget the cold, dark fingers of death reaching out for me. However, even that death was a necessary component of the big picture. The virus that Birkin had created brought me back from the brink of annihilation. When I awoke, hatred became my master. Emergency. The self I found the tyrant that killed me was dead. 
and the facility was just moments away from self-destruction. I did not have time to enjoy my newfound life. I had something I needed to do. Time to grab the data and get out. Due to the emergency condition, all data has been backed up to the UNF-013. Sergei was busy. Wesker, Albert, I am afraid that as of 2400 hours, I have taken it upon my authority to revoke your access privileges to the mainframe system. Impossible. Who are you? I am Red Queen. My primary objective is the management and protection of Umbrella assets. My secondary mission objective you will regret is the protection this, my lady. of Umbrella that, officer. That, I promise. Nobody's perfect. Not even you, Lisa. Good girl, and stay dead this time. devised which cost me my humanity ended in failure. Now, anyone or anything that stood in my way would be terminated. It's been that way for a long time, and it always will be. At all costs, I had to make stars pay. So I was reborn like a phoenix emerging from the flame. I no longer needed Umbrella. A new horizon stretched out before me. I had risen beyond the human race and cheated death itself, leaving nothing to oppose me. September. Two months had passed since the mansion incident. To regain everything that I had lost in my new organization, I joined hands with Ada Wong, a female agent who was also sent to spy on Umbrella. I knew in my bones that the key developer was William Birkin, but what he didn't know was that Umbrella did not play games with anyone. Dr. Birkin, you'll come along with us quietly. I think I didn't know you were coming. This is my life's work. I'm not handing over anything. We have our orders, Dr. Birkin. I'll ask you one more time. Stop! Hold your fire! What the fuck were you thinking? Our orders were to bring him in alive. Target resisted. We had to take him out. 
That's correct, sir. Roger that. Just the samples, then. Let's move. Eventually, Birkin would be assassinated, and the G-Virus would be in the hands of Umbrella. But the salvage team led by Hunk was ahead of us. By the time they got to Birkin, he'd already injected himself with the G-Virus, became his own creation, and decimated them. Soon after, the T-Virus carried by rats spread throughout Raccoon City and Umbrella faced its worst scenario. The failure to contain virus samples has left Umbrella in a precarious situation. Hunk is not responding. The UBCS wing has deployed their forces. UBCS Team 4, report. Command, we're seeing a lot of RPD and civilian activity in the downtown area. Team 5 reporting! Gunfire near the hospital! Command, we have positive contact! Understood. Move to contain. Ma'am, please calm down. What is the nature of your emergency? We're trying to get in the windows! Please help us! Ma'am? Ma'am! The line is breached. We can't hold them off. Sure, Umbrella's survival. The story of what happened must never be told. We need to make sure the truth dies, along with each scrap of evidence and every survivor. Umbrella Security Service Task Force. Commence Operation Raccoon City. In the chaos, Umbrella Europe applied a new type BOW called Nemesis. The Nemesis would hunt down and destroy the surviving number of stars. Chill it became imperative that our organization would also obtain the Nemesis data. I got you. Who are you? What are you doing? Carlos. I'm saving you. Come on. Let's get you someplace safe. they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Umbrella jettisoned a tyrant to take care of Leon and Claire, who were trying to unveil their secrets. Then, a new revelation. Birkin used to hide the findings of his studies in his daughter Sherry's pendant. It was very possible that the G-Virus was there. While Umbrella was busy with their cover-up, I had to capture Sherry before they did. I sent Ada undercover to seek the location of Sherry. I, the dead man on the other hand, had to work in the shadows. 
A spy's obligation and priority is in the mission. To carry out the mission like a machine without any emotional interference. But through her interaction and involvement with Leon S. Kennedy, there'd been an affection growing inside her. My instinct sensed danger. Something had to be done quickly. I was just thinking about you. That makes two of us. I was getting worried. No, we make a good team. I gotta ask you something. The way's clear. Please, tell me you got it. Oh, I got it. Let me verify the G sample when we get the hell out of here. Before we do that, I ran into Annette. She claims you're not FBI. Oh, Leon. Why couldn't you just hand over the sample? Because I realized, as much as I wanted to trust you, I didn't. I really hoped it wouldn't end up like this. So that's all this was? I was just some pawn to you? Look, I'm just doing my job. And I'm doing mine, so drop that damn gun! I'm taking you in. Hand over the sample, Leon. I don't want to hurt you. And you shoot me. But I don't think you can. Ada almost had her hands on the G-Virus, which Leon had acquired from Sherry. That affection of hers drove her to her death. But she was still of some use. I had to save her life. Our only option left was to bring back Birkin, the monster, as the sample specimen and have him finish off Leon and Claire in order to obtain his combat data. We succeeded in gathering samples of the G-Virus from his dead body. Later, Claire left for Europe to find her lost brother Chris, and Leon joined forces with an underground anti-umbrella organization. I would never underestimate Birkin. Hmm. There's something about this little girl.
interesting. You've done me a big favor, Miss. Jill! Hey, answer me. God damn it. Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I... I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Bard can save her. All right, I'll meet you there. You hang in there, super cop. I got you. lost his will and chose death. He was weak. Wesker. And you, Ada. You have also failed. Your actions in betraying us and helping that Leon fellow will have consequences for our organization. See this? It's a tissue fragment with Birkin's G-Virus. Well... Despite some setbacks, you have proven your value to us. Ada, there are two things you must be made aware of. One, in just moments, Raccoon City will be completely eradicated by a government-launched missile. And two, an Umbrella officer will be leaving town in a helicopter. If you are not on it, there will be no way to leave Raccoon City. It is in our best interest that you survive. The G-Virus sample is required. If the T-Virus did this, what would happen if the G-Virus got out? It's done. Give me the vaccine, you greedy son of a bitch. No, 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 no. You, print Mum. I like her. We shall make ours an ongoing arrangement. Now drop the gun! The data on this would be worth millions. But, uh, you know how it is. City's about to explode, and you can't put a price on life. <laughs> Good luck! Nikolai! Joe! Go after Nikolai. He's got the vaccine. What about you? We're running out of time. I've got this. I know you do. Look. Just so you know, this is the last fucking time. Good riddance.
You can have it. You think I'm reckless? Don't you? You stole a computer core from your own company. I wouldn't exactly call that stable. <laughs> the people who go down in history as its heroes are never stable. Inside UMF-013 is all of the research data. With that, Umbrella will rise from the ashes. tag for everything. Even letting the world burn. <laughs> Who are you working for? I'll tell you. If you get me out of here. I'll pay you whatever you want. You're a fool. You're a fool! If I die, you'll never find out the truth. I don't mind a little detective work. <laughs> October 1st. In the morning. The government bombed Raccoon City Joe, in an attempt to stop right? further viral outbreak. That was, of course, their feigned there reason. Is. Thus, Raccoon City vanished from the map. However, not everything disappeared with the town's annihilation. The nightmare would continue over the next few years as the survivors fought on. I survived the fate of Raccoon City thanks to Wesker's warning. Of course, I knew the only reason my life was spared was because I had the G-Virus tissue fragment. But I would settle things in time. We were both used to being backstabbed and manipulated. I had a feeling our partnership would last a little while longer. Umbrella's stock plummeted with government inquiries into their involvement in the Raccoon City incident. Before long, they were able to redirect responsibility for the incident. Part of the blame was cleverly shifted to the American government. Umbrella had strong ties and deep pockets. Thus, they were able to drag out the legal proceedings. Over time, it appeared that all evidence of Umbrella's involvement had vanished with the missile touchdown. How convenient for them. Though fortune has a way of turning when you least expect it. It was the year 2003. Umbrella had a base of operations in Russia where they were working on a new B.O.W. They were preparing to arm the unstable regions of the world with their bioweaponry. Chris and Joe had joined a regional biohazard containment unit and had heard rumors about this nightmarish facility. They recklessly plunged in to shut it down. They have no idea of the awesome and terrible power that awaits them with the new B.O.W., Talos. The only thing that can defeat power is more power. That is the one constant in this universe. However, there is no point in power if it consumes itself. I will enlist the help of an old friend against our common foe. I will use one pawn to eliminate the other and emerge with the spoils for myself. There's no time to 
to wait for authorization from the Russian government. That facility is an umbrella base. Yeah. We can't let them get away with this. Chris, it appears our fates are forever intertwined. Detected. Casualties? Over 90% of the research staff have been eliminated. In the primary contamination zone, the survival rate is less than 2%. It is such a waste to destroy this place. But we don't have a choice. With you and Talos, we can always start over. Proceed with the Talos activation. We need him operational before the Russian government arrives. Acknowledged. Resetting activation program schedule. Two airborne objects are approaching at high speeds toward the facility from the northeast. Did you think it would be that easy? I'll enjoy this challenge. <laughs> Everybody prepare for landing. Stay on guard. We can't afford any mistakes. I really hope this new bio weapon is just a rumor. We'll just take out whatever they throw at us. Comrade Wesker, welcome to my humble abode. I see you are still resolved to go down with the ship, Colonel. Umbrella's not going anywhere. All of the pain, the punishment, and the difficulties helped to make Umbrella stronger. It's a shame you couldn't understand. Stand aside. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Here are a few of my old friends I'd like to introduce you to. Charmed. Russia's such a peaceful place, don't you agree? A perfect place for your final resting spot. Chris, something about this floor. Yeah, I noticed. Abandon hope. The nightmare ends here and now. Probably where they test BOWs. We don't know yet. This is it to see. Where? There's several soldiers. 
I'm sure you understand the thrill of battle, and the rush that comes with the feeling of being alive after a good battle. Another Umbrella Psycho. The latest in Umbrella's product line. Codename Talos. A pinnacle of biological weapons. All controlled by the Red Queen computer. The ultimate weapon. You got Ivan? Not bad, comrade. So this is it. Yes. She was activated that night at the mansion. I extracted her before Raccoon City became nothing more than a memory. Her and I have a lot in common. She linked with Talos, desiring more information and more data. She wanted to know the truth, no matter how painful that reality may be. That thing is merely a tool. What it wants is something the user determines for it. It's good that we can be honest with each other. That's the sign of a healthy relationship. It's a shame that this friendship has to end. Unfortunately, Talos is out of control. The T-Virus inside of its body will continue to mutate until even a god cannot control it. Requested data transfer complete. The summation of Umbrella on one disk. This should come in handy. It looks like you have finished what you came to do as well, Chris. Just as I predicted. Goodbye, fair lady. Data for initialized. 80 seconds until completion. All data erased. done for. We struck a fatal blow. The end of Umbrella is just a question of time. But... Yeah. He's still out there. The Talos project Umbrella placed so much faith in, and failed. However, Chris and the others were a little too quick to pat themselves on the back. It was not by justice or faith that they would prevail against Umbrella that day. No, it was only with my help that they were able to succeed. The only thing that can defeat power is more power. 
Ironic, perhaps, but the truth can be so cruel. Umbrella will be gone forever. They held the power of the T-Virus in their hands, but they lack the proper vision. The true vision of the future. And now, it falls to me to usher in this new future. found guilty on all charges of crimes related to the Raccoon City incident five years ago. The prosecution has remained quiet on how they acquired proof of Umbrella's involvement, and the defense plans to appeal the decision on the grounds that the evidence is not admissible in court. The Russian Ministry of the Interior has agreed to cooperate with the FBI in finding the whereabouts of Oswald E. Spencer. Mr. Spencer has been determined to have played a large part in the biohazard that contaminated Raccoon City. An anonymous witness close to the suspect was invaluable in providing evidence about Mr. Spencer's involvement. My dear Spencer, how the mighty have fallen. Your umbrella has folded, and now you are a fugitive in the same world you once sought to control. Welcome to the Umbrella Archives. Please select the desired service from the menu. We shall meet again before the conclusion of this drama. Then, you will learn of the history. I will write for this world. <laughs>